Now, no hurricanes wow. here in Northeast Ohio, but Anthony, we sure got a lot of rainfall today. Yeah, some of us did, especially out east. Geauga over to Ashabula County, uh, at least radar estimates over two inches of rain, and they definitely got their share of daily rainfall. Elsewhere, uh, from the Hopkins Airport, just under a quarter of an inch. So, uh, you know, it was kind of spread out through most of the region. Some of us, especially down to the south, did not get much of anything. So yes, we did have impactful weather, but it was kind of more on the isolated to scattered side compared to the widespread heavy rainfall threat we did anticipate earlier uh, today. But things are much quieter and we'll remain on the quiet side as we wrap up your Saturday uh, night and go into the overnight hours. However, to the northwest, yes, this is the cold front that's finally crossing over state lines in northwest Ohio and sparking out some isolated showers. This is going to be the biggest threat as we head beyond midnight tonight when it comes to bringing another round of maybe some hit and miss heavy downpours as you wrap up the overnight hours. But this is about it. But most importantly to that, once we get beyond this front, Ooh, dew points are still in the tropical category. Low to mid 70s. Stepping outside right now, the air is thick, but quite a different story as you look elsewhere up to the north and west. This pocket of drier and comfortable air will eventually arrive here, but it's going to take a while as we go throughout time here. This is tomorrow morning, right into the early afternoon. Yes. The north winds bringing those cooler and comfortable conditions back in our direction. You're really going to be feeling it. Just a nice little trough for us as we get closer to Monday uh, morning, right into the early afternoon. So comfortable days are ahead of us as we wrap up June into early July. For tonight, 70s for overnight temperatures. And this is going to be the overall high for tomorrow morning. So here's the last of the uh, hit and miss showers for tonight around two and three o'clock. Cold front arriving here throughout the pre dawn hours and then a north wind will kick in. So these are going to be overall highs. Low to mid 70s and temperatures will be plateauing in the upper to lower 60s throughout most of midday into the early afternoon. So how about that for the final afternoon of June? We're looking at temperatures maintaining in the mid 60s. We're partly cloudy to mostly clear skies. I believe we can get in a few peaks of sunny skies as we wrap up the afternoon hours. The overall trend will be decreasing clouds throughout the day. But most importantly, when it comes to the muggy meter, we got a few days to play with with comfortable air, not only for tomorrow, Monday, especially Tuesday's not looking bad. Although Tuesday we're going to kick in a south breeze or brings us to midweek and let's have an early look at your 4th of July forecast because rain chances are trending upwards and the overall setup is OK. Clear skies for Monday. Here comes the south breeze behind behind this uh, high pressure system for Tuesday, Wednesday evening. I believe we can get in the showers and thunderstorms and it's right now. Thursday is not looking that bad, but Thursday evening for fireworks showers will be in the area. So just keep that in mind with your Medina Country Club 10 day outlook. Temperatures maintaining in the low 90s, cooling into the mid 80s by late week. Stick around. Nick Camille.